to the broadcast. Well, if you've lived in Texas for a while, you know that spring storms can pop up without any notice sometimes. So when it comes to the spring storms and the tornadoes here in North Texas, does your family have an emergency plan ready? Well, we are joined this morning by Anita Foster, who is with the American Red Cross. Thank you for joining us. Absolutely. And so when it comes to our families and keeping our homes safe, it really is important to have a plan for your family and for your home in the event that a tornado or a horrible storm comes Absolutely. through. Absolutely. Your home, your workplace, your kids' daycare, schools, everyone needs to have a plan because you never know where you're going to be right. when the tornado sirens are when sounding. When we saw several of these tornadoes come through Oklahoma, for example, last year, you know, and we saw how they really wrecked these schools and wrecked these families and maybe if some of these people would have had a plan it maybe could have helped in the aftermath. It's one step. So there are three steps we want everyone to take. Make a plan, get a kit, and be informed. And making a plan means knowing what you're gonna do if that tornado siren sounds. Okay. If your kids are at school and you're at home, is it a good idea to jump in your car and race to the school? Absolutely no. not, because your children still need their parents. Okay. And they are in one of the safest places, and I know how hard it was for all of us to see that footage of Oklahoma last year. Right. But you talk to leading experts all over the country, and the kids were truly in the safest place they could have been now, in. Now, I went to Moore to help with the cleanup efforts afterwards, and I'd never seen anything like it. And someone who's from California, what do you tell someone like me who's like, uh, oh, you know, it's we've we've had earthquakes. What's the big deal? I hear sirens all the time. You know, this is serious stuff. And after seeing more, everything changed. I know we got to get to our safe spot and have a plan. Absolutely. So make that plan with your family. The next thing is to build a kit. Mm -hmm. This may seem like a, a lot of simple supplies. You already have them. They're but all just put them house. all together in one place one, that everyone knows where they are absolutely. in the event of emergency. And put them in the safe place in your home. And let me just dispel a couple yeah, of minutes. What do you recommend to, that we put in this kit? So it's simple things. You want to have some bottled water because you may not have access to that. Some food products, obviously non perishable are best, mm -hmm. uh, tuna fish, Spam, Vienna sausage, power Granola bars. bars, things like that that you don't need any to heat up yes. or to the, have a sickle but make or sure that you need a can opener. Open everything, right. Right. if not throw a can opener in along with some plastic wear. Okay. Um, that'll be very important. You have to have a flashlight and a radio with working batteries. Okay. Imperative. That and is make how. sure it has working batteries. Maybe even have some extra batteries in there because I'm sure someone around you will need them. Most definitely. <laughs> if you take prescription medications that you need to sustain your life, right. you want to work with your doctor to get a couple of extra days supply. Put sure. important paperwork, the deed to your house, a copy of your driver's license, pictures of your pets into a Ziploc bag and throw that into your disaster kit. You may be wow. separated. You may be in a flood situation after a storm. Yeah. And you want to make sure that all of that stays nice and mm -hmm. safe and goes with you. Now, where we put about this the in, pets. Mm -hmm. that's a really good idea. Yeah, pets are people too, and they need yeah. to be a, a large part of your disaster plan. And a lot it's, of times they are missing. They are yes. missing. There are organizations that will come through neighborhoods after tornadoes or wow. massive disasters and, and collect pets. But wow. if you have a photo of your animal and you can go to the reunification center with pets, it just makes that process. And maybe a lot not only easier. food for you, but food if you're if you treat your pets like family, which I do. Maybe food for your your animals and as crate. well. So yeah. if, when you are at your location, your pets are with you. And this, I've had to do this with my cat. Yank her out from underneath the bed by her tail mm -hmm. and slam her into her crate mm -hmm. and we dive into the bathtub with the tornado siren. Right. There. Now you mentioned bathtub. What is the safest place in your home in the event of a tornado? Thank you. It's a very common myth for those of us in North Texas to think that we automatically go to the bathtub. You only go to the bathtub if it's the most interior part of your home. Mm. If it's on an outside wall, you can look out the so window. So it can even be a closet. It's just something that has no exterior walls. You want to have as many walls in between you and the outdoors as you possibly can. What about like a closet under a staircase? Absolutely. That's what I'm thinking. If it's interior, it's actually a really good location. Okay. So reassess your plans. If you are just going to the bathtub because that's what you've been told, mm -hmm. then rethink that mm -hmm. and make sure it's the most interior. Mm -hmm. Now, last year y'all launched something that's really amazing at American Red Cross, and that's the Red Cross app. Yes. Um, this is the second year that the Red Cross app has been working. Tell us how this app and having this app already on our phones can really help us in the event of an emergency. It's amazing because the Tornado app, when you download it, you can set it to your geographic location that you want to monitor. Mm -hmm. If there is a tornado warning issued for that area, 
the siren on your phone will sound exactly like oh, the outdoor wow. warning siren that you hear. Your app does not have to be on. So you may be sleeping in your bed at 2.30 in the morning when you get a tornado warning stormed, wow. and it will set that That's app awesome. off. And wow. you know, as terrifying as that is, and we have had that happen, right. it, it, it can save your life. The other piece of the app that's so critical, and I used last year myself, was the I'm safe button. After oh, the storm yeah. has passed, people all over the country and, and your family are going to be saying, are you okay? Are you okay? We're all watching these stories live now on national news as they happen. Mm -hmm. So you can go in and say, I want to update Facebook, Twitter. I want to email my list. Wow. I want to send it to my Gmail account. You can do whatever you choose to do and let your family and friends know that and you're what's safe. what's the name of that app again? It's the Red Cross Tornado app. So okay. go to the, the iTunes store or to Google Play and just look for a Red Cross Tornado app and it's a free download. Perfect. Anita, so many great tips from you as always and you guys you don't want to procrastinate when it comes to getting a plan together for you and your family in the event of a horrible tornado or storm here in North Texas. For more information about a checklist, what you need to keep your family safe, you can find at redcross.org. Org. Okay, it is smelling good in our Sub-Zero Wolf Bentwood kitchen. We've got the folks from Genghis Grill whipping up something delicious and healthy. That's next when the broadcast continues.